Now under this memberships you can also cancel the subscription. So before I do that I'm going to go into my test my Stripe account that I set up for this. Let me just go I'm fairly sure this is the correct one. I'm testing data. Hang on a minute. Okay, so I'm going to test the viewing test data, I'll turn that off, and you will see that today we have taken £2 so that that payment has come in. It's subtracted the amount of money that Stripe charge for their fee, so that it's not quite showing as £1.76 in your balance, um, but it's minus their, their fee, and it will show that payment there, and if we go under payments, it will, you will see that that's succeeded, it's created a subscription, You'll be able to go under the customer and you can see exactly what they've set up with all their details under here. So all very easy to keep track of. You can set up receipts from in here if you want to, but let me also show you what has happened at the email end. So the customer who signed up will have received an email which says, action required, here's your link to your membership group. And then this is the text that you have um, that you have added in the, this might need a little bit of tweaking, as you can see we've got two versions of that because I put um, some text in there, so let me just go and remove that quickly. So that's under the campaign, that email text is included under here and I will give you a template piece of text that is ideal for putting in here just so that makes it a bit easier for you but this is all editable under the this upsell post purchase description so I've put thank you for applying so I can remove that because we've got that built into the template by the looks of things this is the first time I've seen the template so I've deleted that strip so it's already in there saying thank you for subscribing to join our exclusive blah 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 that's the title merged in so on your page here that's this upsell title, so just you just want to make sure that that makes sense in the context of that email where it says thank you for subscribing to, and then it will merge that title in. I've deleted that bit. There's one more step you need to take to get entry to the group, which is click the following link or paste it into a browser window and click to apply the, to join the group. So if they haven't done it off the web page, they get a prompt here. So they would, and it has a big action required. Here's your link to your membership group. Join our exclusive group of professionals. That's the title again merged in. So this is all pretty much done for you. If you, and then it also merges in their details. Your subscription is ongoing at two pounds a month, and then it adds in the cancellation terms that you will have put again under here. So that's where your cancellation notice comes in. So that's also merged into that email. So they have everything. And then it just signs off with your speaker name that you've put in in the webinar. And again, there's a PS. Don't forget to click this link to join the group and complete the process. And they would click on that link and off they go to apply. So it's pretty difficult for them to ignore it. And obviously, as soon as you get their application, you go and tick them off under the member management area to say, yep, we've had them, we've, they've come in. Um, just so just under there you would just go and go into that groups and admin and just tick them off and if they've got a tick in there it means you've accepted them already in the group but remember there is no direct connection between our system and Facebook because Facebook doesn't allow that to happen this is literally a to-do list so that you can keep yourself in check make sure you've joined the right people and removed the right people and it's as simple as that and then obviously your dashboard gives you an overview of what you've got coming in and money that you've taken etc and just so that you can see how to cancel this is how easy it is if somebody emails you and says I want to cancel or they get in touch with you through Facebook or however you've asked them in your cancellation notice to get in touch with you you can jump straight to their subscription on Stripe by clicking that view number view button so that's one thing if you want to go and check their subscription out make sure the details are right that will take you straight to that subscription in Stripe which is quite cool even I haven't got that facility in my own system and if you want to cancel their payment then you would just do so let's just cancel that and it says subscription successfully cancelled and when you go to the groups admin you have now got that person in as a recent lapser and you would go and remove them 
So it says once you've removed a member from the group, please adjust the relevant check checkboxes here and hit save to update your records. So you go and remove them from your Facebook group and then click done. And that's it, keeps you on track and there you go, you have a clean group admin, no new joiners that you need to add and no lapses that you need to remove. Now let me just go into Stripe and find where to read. So if we refresh this now, okay, so all working nicely and that's now cancelled and we would need to go and rem we need to go and refund the payment by going to payments because the subscription is an ongoing plan whereas it's the payments that are obviously the ones that you would want to refund and you can do that I think by going in here and you've got a refund button there so we just click refund and it will refund we we'll just say um, duplicate you don't really want to um, done for testing and click refund. So that is how simple it all is to look after and take care of. So pretty straightforward, all run by your payments. If anyone actually asks you to cancel and you do it within here, it will probably, I believe it will pick up in here as well because those two things are connected. So you don't have to use the cancel button in here. You could use the cancel button in Stripe if you wanted to, but it's just as easy to do it from within here. So hopefully that shows you the entire process and then obviously the next bit is how you then build your communities. But that is the administration from the Coconetic end.